All right, we're gonna do this the third fucking video, bitches, because, well, the first two didn't give me all the information. 2000 Chevy 350. This is in the uh, the old body style. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. It's gonna apply to all the 350s, 305s, hell, probably most of the fucking big blocks and everything, too. Um, anything that's got the, uh, the coolant temperature sensor on the driver's side going into the cylinder head. All right, here's what we're doing, or here's what we did. Um, we had a problem here, had a coolant leak. Um, owner uh, says that there's a coolant leak coming out of the passenger side cylinder head, so upon investigation, we discovered that this is leaking. Well, how the hell is this plug leaking, you ask? Well, let me see if we can show you. What? There's a fucking hole in the middle of it. How can there be a fucking hole in the middle? I ain't never seen a hole in the middle of one of these before. Is that stock? No, that ain't stock. So we got a couple things happening here. One, why is the, this thing so fucking thin? Because it should be a little bit thicker and where'd the rest of the metal go? It looks like it just kind of freaking chemically deteriorated away. Which makes me wonder what the chemical fucking makeup of this fucking coolant is. I have no clue what's eating this metal away. Anywho, it rusted through the center and started leaking. Not a big deal, but except for getting the fucker out. How do you get this fucker out? Well, you just put a uh, extension in there, right? Uh, that'd be nice. That'd be real fucking nice, except for it's a 5 16 So, not a 3 8 like you'd expect. Um, first attempt, try to do this shit. This didn't work for fucking shit, as you can see. Cheap Chinese extension, um, but it was only a cheap Chinese extension, so sacrifice is minimal. This one is probably another Chinese made tool, who knows? Maybe it's a better Taiwanese tool. Um, it's a 3 8 inch uh, Allen and uh, fabricated on the spot. To uh, Got a little bit of rust dots on it here, but uh, either way, made it a square with a grinder. And um, this one was so long, then I took, I had a 10 millimeter deep well here, slipped that on right there. And then a 10 inch extension into there and use that and it's it unscrewed pretty fucking easy. No problems. All right, so you gotta try and put the new one in. New one, it'll look something like this except for uh, the larger size. Uh, owner, uh, he had bought a set of plugs here and uh, this is the biggest size. You need the second to largest size. Here's your part number. Went and bought this, uh, I'm guessing that O'Reilly's or something. Advance, I don't know. Just pipe plug assortment. Anywho, so there's your part number. Uh, to put that in, that got a little tricky. How the hell would you do that, you say? Well, this is how Malachi did it. Um, I believe it's around about a half inch size uh, square. So I took this big fuck, which ain't nothing but a T60 uh, Torx. Put it onto the plug so that this end is sticking out. Then took an E16 inverted Torx, slipped it right on there, and boom, made myself a dry a square driver on the spot. You got to fucking think about this kind of shit when you're doing the mobile mechanic shit. You know what I mean? You got to show up uh, on the spot and. Do whatever it takes, however it takes, whenever it takes. Because you never know what's going to fucking, you're going to run into. So if you ain't got the ability to think outside the box, you ain't going to fucking make it in this fucking business. Um, you got to learn how to make your own tools if you need one and do whatever. So that part's done. We're going to throw a new thermostat in here because the owner really wants one. Even though that ain't his problem. Um, we just just here to do what I'm told. And he thought he had a heater core too, but... Uh, and these things are pretty fucking easy. So we invested in this heater core box and uh, here, use this a flashlight, but it's bone dry in there. That heater core is not leaking. You can do this in the vehicle. It is a bitch and a half to get this fucking uh, cover off and then more importantly, get it back in. It can be done. Um, sometimes uh, you will break off a little piece of the inside uh, that goes up against the firewall. You try not to. The correct means of doing this is you pull the fucking whole goddamn dash, you pull the AC box up off the wall about an inch or two, and then it fucking comes right out real easy. 
but um, yeah so I investigated first before I uh, pulled that thing off so right now it's just a matter of pushing it back up put the uh, six screws back in it and move back on in life peace out bitches once again